Welcome to theCUBE. Our coverage of Dell Technologies World, the digital experience continues. I have a longtime guest coming back, joining me in the next segment here. John Siegel is back, the Vice President of Product Marketing at Dell Technologies. John, it's good to see you. Welcome back to the program. Thanks, Lisa. Always great to be on. We last spoke about six months ago and here we are still at home, but um, there has been no slowdown whatsoever in the last year. We were talking to you a lot about Edge last time, but we're going to talk about Power Store today. It's just coming up on its one year anniversary. You launched it right when the pandemic happened. Talk to right. me about what's happened in the last year with respect to Power Store, adoption, momentum, what's going on? Yeah, great. Well, yeah, listen, what a year it's been, right? But certainly for Power Store, especially, I mean, customers and partners around the world have really embraced uh, Power Store, and specifically, it's really its modern architecture. Uh, what many people may not know is this is actually the fastest ramping new architecture we've had in all of Dell's history, which is quite a, quite a history, of course. Uh, and we saw 4x uh, quarter over quarter growth uh, in the most recent quarter. Uh, and you know, in terms of shipments, we've, we've shipped well over 400 petabytes of power store. You know, so special thanks to a lots of our, our customers around the world and in industries like education, and gaming, transportation, retail, uh, more than 60 countries, I think 62 countries now. Uh, they include customers like Columbia Southern University, uh, Habib Bank, RealPage, the University of Pisa, uh, and, and Ultra uh, Leap, just to name a few. Uh, and to give you a sense of how truly game changing it's been uh, in the market is that approximately 20% of the customers for Power Store are new to Dell, new to Dell Technologies. Uh, and we've tripled the number of wins against some of our key competitors in just uh, the last quarter as well. So look, uh, it, it's been quite a year, like you said, and we're not stopping there. Yeah, you must have to wear a neck brace from that whiplash of moving so quickly. But that's, <laughs> that's actually a good problem to have. But I'm mean, curious about the 20s and 20% of the power store customers are net new to yeah. Dell. Interesting that, that you've captured that much in a very turbulent year. Any industries in particular that you see is really being transformed by the technology? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, look, just like, you know, we're bringing disruptive technology to market, there's, there are a lot of industries out there that are disrupting themselves as well, right? And how they transform, particularly with, you know, in, in this new era uh, during the pandemic. I think, uh, I, I can give you a great example. Um, one, of the, one of the new capabilities of Power Store uh, is Apps On. Uh, just for those that aren't familiar, Apps On is the ability for uh, Power Store to run apps directly on the appliance, good name, right? Uh, and uh, it's thanks to a built-in VMware ESX hypervisor. And where we've seen really good traction with apps on uh, is in storage intensive applications at the edge. And that brings me to my, my example. And, and this one's in retail. Uh, and, you know, of course, just like every industry, I think it's been upended in the past year. Uh, there's a large supermarket chain in new, Northern China that was is new to Dell. Um, during the pandemic, they needed to fast track the development of a smart autonomous retail system in, in all their stores so that their customers could make their purchases via a smartphone app. You know, and again, just you know, limiting the essentially the person-to-person -person interaction during the pandemic. And this required a significant increase in transaction processing at each of the store locations that they didn't have equipment for before, uh, as well as support for big data analytics applications to understand the customer behavior uh, that's going on in real time. So the net result is they chose Power Store. Uh, they were new to Dell and they deployed it in, in their stores and delivered a, a seamless shopping experience uh, via uh, smartphone apps. Uh, you know, the, the whole shopping experience was completely revolutionized. And I think this is really a, a great example of, again, how the innovations that are in Power Store are enabling our customers to really rethink how they're transacting business. Well, enabling the supermarkets to be the edge, but also in China, where everything started, so much, the market dynamics just are still going on. But how quickly were they able to get Power Store up and running and facilitate that um, seamless smartphone shopping experience? It was only weeks, only weeks, weeks from, uh, you know, from, from beginning to getting them up to speed. I mean, we've had uh, great coverage, great support. And um, again, they... They embraced, I mean, they happened to leverage the apps on capabilities. So they were able to run some of their applications directly on the appliance. Uh, and they were able to get that up and running very quickly. Uh, and they were already a VMware customer as well. So they're already familiar with some of the tools and integration of VMware. And again, that, that's also been a sweet spot for this particular offer. 
Okay, got it. So a, a lot in its first year, you said 4X growth, over 60 countries, 400 petabytes plus shipped, a lot of new net new customers. What is new? What are you announcing that's new that's going to take that up even a higher level? That's right. We're always going to up the ante, right? We always get to We can't rest in our laurels for too long. Um, look, we're very excited to share what's new for PowerStore. And that is one of the reasons we're here, of course, uh, is you know, I can break it down into two key highlights. Um, first is a major software update uh, that brings more enterprise innovation, uh, more speed, more automation in particular, uh, to both new and existing customers. Uh, and we're also excited to announce a new lower cost entry model for the PowerStore family uh, called the PowerStore 500. Uh, and this offers an incredible amount of enterprise class storage capabilities, uh, much of which I have talked about and we'll talk more about today for, for, uh, for the price. And the price itself is what's gonna surprise some folks. It starts as low as 28,000 US street price, uh, which is pretty significant, uh, you know, in terms of a game changer, we think in this industry. So let's, let's talk about the software update first. You got PowerStore 2.0, mm -hmm. happy birthday to your customers who are going to take advantage of this. Kind of talk me That's through right. what some of the technical te technological advancements are that your customers are going to be able to leverage. That's a great point. Yeah, so from a software standpoint, I like I said, happy birthday. Yeah, so all of our, just to be clear, from a software update perspective, all of our existing customers are going to get this as a simple, free, non-disruptive update. And this is this is a commitment we've had to our customers for, for some time. Uh, and really uh, is the mantra, if you will, of PowerStore, which is it's all about ensuring that our customers uh, can it counts on a very flexible platform that will keep giving them the latest and greatest. So really a couple of things I want to highlight from PowerStore that are brand new. One is we're giving a speed boost to the entire PowerStore lineup. Uh, customers now, existing customers, uh, get up to 25% faster mixed workload performance, um, which is incredible right off the bat. Secondly, we're enabling our customers to take full advantage of NVMe now across the data center uh, with the option of running NVMe over fiber channel. Uh, and this again requires just a simple software update and no additional hardware if they already have 32 gig uh, capable switches and HBAs uh, on-prem. Uh, we've also made our unique apps on feature, which I just talked about in the China example. We've made that more powerful and would scale out this means more aggregate power, more aggregate capacity, and it makes it even more ideal now for storage intensive apps to run at the edge uh, with PowerStore. Uh, another capability that's been very popular with our customers is our uh, data reduction, specifically our int intelligent dedupe, uh, which is always on and automated. Uh, and now what it does is it enables customers to boost performance uh, while still guaranteeing the four to one data reduction that we have at the same time. So just to give a quick example, when the system is under extreme IO, uh, duress, if you will, it automatically prioritizes that IO versus the dedupe itself and provides a 20% turbo boost, if you will, performance boost uh, for the applications running. All this is done automatically, zero management effort, zero impact to the, to the uh, data reduction guarantee of four to one that we already have in place. Uh, and then the last highlight I'd like to bring, in, bring up is last but not least uh, is one we're really proud of is the ability for our customers to now take more cost of, um, advantage, if you will, cost effective advantage of SCM or storage class memory. PowerStore now differentiates between SCM drives and NVMe drives within the same chassis. So they can use SCM as a high performance layer, if you will, uh, with as few as one drive. Right? So they don't have to populate the whole chassis. They can use just one SEM drive for cost effectiveness for metadata access. Uh, and this actually helps reduce the workload latency by up to 15%. So uh, another great example on top of NVMe that I already mentioned of how PowerStore is leading the practical adoption of next generation technologies. Are you seeing with the, with the lower cost uh, PowerStore 500, is that an opportunity for Dell to expand into the mid-sized market and, and an opportunity yeah. for those smaller customers to be able to take advantage of this technology? Absolutely, yeah. So the PowerStore Finder, which we're really excited about introducing, it does exactly what you just said, Lisa. It is going to allow us to bring PowerStore and the experience of PowerStore to a broad range of businesses, a broad range, a much broader range of edge use cases as well. Uh, you know, and, and you know, we're really excited about that. It's an incredible amount of enterprise storage class, you know, uh, performance, as I mentioned, and functionality for the price that is, again, 28,000 starting. Uh, and this, this includes all of the enterprise software capabilities I've been talking about, the ability to cluster, four to one data reduction guarantee, anytime upgrades. 
And to put this in context, a single 2U appliance, the PowerStore 500, supports up to 2.4 million SQL transactions per minute. I mean, this thing packs a punch uh, like no other, right? And it's a great fit for standalone or edge deployments in virtually every industry. Uh, we've mentioned retail already, also healthcare, manufacturing, education, and more. And it's, it's an offering that's really ideal for any solution that requires an optimization of price performance, uh, small footprint, and, and effortless automation. And I can tell you, it's not just customers that are excited about this. As you can imagine, our channel partners, they can't wait to get their hands on this either. It's, I'm just going to ask gonna you about your the channel. It is going to help them reach new sets of customers that they never had before. You mentioned midsize, uh, but also in addition to that, it's just going to open it up to all new sets of use cases as well. So I'm um, really excited to see the creativity from our channel partners and customers uh, and how they adopt and use the PowerStore 500 going forward. Tell me about some of those new use cases that it's going to open up. We've seen so many new things in the last year and such acceleration. What are some of the new use cases that this is going to help unlock value for? Yeah, I, again, I, I think it's going to come down a lot to the ed, uh, the edge in particular, uh, as well as midsize. It can run, again, this can run uh, storage intensive applications. Uh, so it's it's really about, you know, coming down to a, a price point that um, I think the, the biggest example will be midsize businesses that now it, it's now affordable to, that they weren't able to get this enterprise class capabilities in the past. Um, you know, more than anything else, because it's all the same capabilities that I've mentioned, uh, but it's, it allows them to run, you know, all, all types of things. It could be, they could run, you know, new uh, next generation intensive data intensive databases. Uh, they can run, um, you know, BDI, they can run SQL. It's, you, you, it does, it, it essentially more than anything else makes existing use cases more accessible to mid-sized businesses. Got it. Okay. So, so much momentum going on in the first year, a lot of that you're souping it up with this year, new software. Uh, we talked about the new mid-size enterprise version, PowerStore 500. What else can we expect from PowerStore the rest of calendar 2021? Yeah, I think, look, I think lots of things. So first of all, uh, we're so pleased at the, the amount of, you know, commitment to innovation that we've had over the past year. We're going to continue to work very closely with VMware to drive more and more innovation and, and enhancements with capabilities like AppsOn that I talked about and VMware VVols, uh, which is a key enabler for that. We're also committed to continuing to lead the industry in the adoption of modern technologies. Um, I gave some good examples today of NVMe and AppsOn and SCM storage class memory, and can, customers can expect that continued commitment. Uh, look, we've, we've designed PowerStore from the ground up to be very flexible uh, so that it can be enhanced and improved non-disruptively. And I think we did that with this release, we proved that. And no one can predict the future, clearly. Uh, it's been a crazy year. Uh, and, and so businesses need storage that's gonna be flexible with them and grow with them and evolve with them. And customers can expect that from PowerStore uh, and we, can, we uh, plan on doing just that. So customers can uh, that are interested can go direct to Dell. They can also go through your huge channel. You said, in terms of those customers that are that are thinking about it, maybe adding to the percentage of new customers. What's your advice on them in terms of next steps? Yeah, I mean, next steps is you know I got to say this. We, we've done it's crazy. We've done over twenty thousand demos uh, of PowerStore in one year. No joke. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a new world. And so uh, the next step is to reach out to Dell. We'd love to uh, showcase this through a, through a demo, uh, give them, um, whether it's a rem remote uh, experience that way or remote proof of concept. Uh, but yeah, reach out to Dell, um, he's, you know, your, your local rep or local channel uh, partner. And uh, we'd love to, to show you what's possible more than anything else. And look, we're, you know, we're really proud of what we've accomplished here. Just as impressive as these updates, I must say, um, you know, is that in many instances, the team that brought this to, to, to market, the engineering team, they did this just like we're, we're doing today, right? Over Zoom, remotely while balancing life and work. So I just also want to um, uh, thank the team for their commitment uh, to delivering innovation to our customers. It, it hasn't wavered at all. And I uh, want to thank our top notch team. Right, an amazing amount of work done. You've had a very busy year and glad that you're well and healthy and, and been as successful with PowerStore as you can. We can't wait to see in the next year, those numbers that you shared even go up even more. John, thank you for joining Looking us and sharing to. what's new with PowerStore. We appreciate your time. Always a pleasure, Lisa. Look Likewise. To to you soon. Yeah, for John Siegel, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Dell Technologies World, the digital experience.